What's up guys? Welcome back to the Monteverse. Today, we are going to be reacting to the brand new trailer for Pokemon Horizons, the series. Yes, the new Pokemon series, now that we have officially bid farewell to both Ash and Pikachu. And, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this show. Me neither, other than I know we both played Scarlet and Violet, so we're going to have some familiarity with the region. But otherwise, I as in terms of the story, it's a mystery to me as well. Yeah, I really don't know what to expect. We, we've we been lulled into this comfort zone of Ash and Pikachu, right, for, for 26, 27 years. And this is really the first time that the main Pokemon series is doing something different. I mean, we've gotten like mini series mm -hmm. like Pokemon Origins and things of that nature, but this is the first time the official flagship Pokemon anime is doing something different. And I guess there's only one way to find out what it's all about. There really is. Let's check out this trailer. Uh, I was gonna say, are you ready to be the very best? It's like no one ever was, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Pokemon Horizons trailer starting right now. That's a very different uniform than the games, though. Yes, very different. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Was that Charizard? Yeah. Oh, there's the Captain Pikachu. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh. Okay, that's really cool. All right. Um, I got really excited because I have a Sarah Legend the game and I <laughs> love its design so much. I have I have the Scarlet, uh, which is uh, I can't remember it. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it right now. It's been a few months yeah, since it's we been, finished it's it. Been, uh, it's, I love that game though. Um, but I do know my my boy Roy's got a Fue Coco and Fue Coco was my starter. So let's go Fue Coco game. No, I had Sprigatito. No one cares about the cat. Yes, everyone cares about the cat. Otherwise, why is it in the show? Uh, I don't know, because it's cute. I, I, I got... Here's the thing. I think Quaxley is super cute, but I can't remember its final evolution. It's very weird, so I'm kind of okay. No one has yes. I don't think any... None of the mains have it, because Liko is, is the girl that we mm. saw... Or Lyco. I don't... Not 100% sure. If, it, if it's it Japanese, says. I would assume Liko, but I could be okay. wrong. So she has the Sprigatito and she has this mysterious pendant, it looks like, that there's yeah. gonna, we're going to have to unravel the mystery of. And then there's Roy, uh, my mm -hmm. boy with the Fue Coco. Uh, and he has this mysterious Pokeball that there's going to be mystery surrounding. So this is really like like the game Scarlet and Violet. This is the first time that the main series has two like parallel mysteries going on yeah. at the same time, right? With dual protagonists. I mean, Pokemon Masters with Ash and um, Go mm -hmm. was, was similar in the sense of there were dueling protagonists, but it was really more of Ash's yeah. story than Go's for the most part. This really seems like it's going to be dual protagonists, mm -hmm. um, even though Liko seems to be more of the focus in the trailer. Yeah, but again, it's, it's very hard to tell. This is a super short trailer, but I, I mean, everything looks great so far. And, yeah. and maybe it's just because Ash isn't involved. The The update animation style isn't bothering me as much as it was before. Um, I don't know. I feel like Ash always looked the worst for some reason, but like everything else I think looks pretty crisp right now. Yeah, and you know, there is definitely... I really like the animation style just because we don't have a familiarity with the characters. Yeah, it's I like... I think we, it, it's, we're more open to it. Yeah, because I think, I think her design is super cute. Um, I think... Charizard looks great. Pikachu looks great. All the other new characters look cool. It is so interesting, though. It's like maybe it's because we're so um, wrapped up in how Scarlet and Violet are. Like I said, the uniforms look different. So there's probably a different like school. Maybe they didn't want to pick one or the other. Um, and other and I like Miraidon and the Scarlet equivalent. Like we're so ingrained in the story that I don't. That's not Coridon. seeing it. Miraidon and Coridon. It's almost weird, like not seeing them involved. But we did see Seralage, so we're gonna see some of the. And we oh. saw a shiny Rayquaza. Yes. What's that about? I don't know. I don't know. That's why it's a mystery. We don't know. <laughs> um, 
Really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid this is gonna make me basic if I say that I really loved uh, Freed just because of Captain Pikachu and Charizard. I, I mean, look at the hat you're wearing. I th I think they knew <laughs> what they were doing. They were like, it's just like everyone in the comments are gonna be like, oh god, he's <laughs> he's the reason why we keep getting Pikachu's and Charizards. I mean, it's not just you; it's the fan base who loves them. Listen, Freed Freed looks I, he looks like the Han Solo of yes. this group. Oh yeah, and the Han Solo is always a very likable character. He's always like this this the scoundrel, the rapscallion, the <laughs> uh, the swashbuckler of the mm. group. And Captain Pikachu looks like a sassy little boy, so <laughs> I'm all for it. Um, oh, oh man. Also, it's so interesting because there was definitely like a Nidoran near the beginning. Yes. Um, so, and even just in like the little collage at the end, there's a pretty good variety of different um, regional Pokemon. And it looks like they're finally not going to walk everywhere. Oh God. Because <laughs> it looks like, I mean, Freed has a airship. <laughs> so I'm assuming, and it looks like it's, it, there's like, it looks like there's a crew. <gasps> Ooh, involved and she, and she has the Rotom phone. Yeah, she has the Rotom <laughs> Pokedex phone. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it, this definitely there's. It looks like they're. It's different. It's different in a yeah. lot more ways than just n a new protagonist. <laughs> and I, I'm wondering if this is going to be continue. Like if we're gonna follow Liko and Roy for a good period of time, or if we're going to every time there's a new gen of Pokemon, yeah. we're essentially gonna be getting a new animated series. Yeah, and that's a really interesting point because. Even though the show like continue on for years and years and years, I think it's pretty fair to say there was a decent amount of Ash fatigue, the running joke that, oh, he's never going to be champion. So I wonder if like, yeah, we're starting over, but I wonder which of those two directions they may go in and if that's going to influence that at all. Yeah. And I'm very curious because we really didn't see any terrestrialized Pokemon. <gasps> Oh God, that's a good point. So I'm wondering if that's if if her pendant, Liko's pendant, is going to mean like she's going to like be the first to terrestrialize. Maybe this is maybe be, everyone looks so different because this is how they discover the right. terrestrializing phenomenon right. in the Pokemon anime universe. Now you mentioned he had a special Pokeball though. Oh, uh, that's Roy. Yeah. So didn't you say that? Isn't now since that's what you used to terrestrialize, maybe that's part of it. Maybe, too? maybe they both come together, and that causes terrestrialization. Co maybe I don't know. We're just we're we're in the dark here, people. It's a mystery. We're theorizing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that could be something. Cause yeah, look at her pendant, the way it's glowing. Yeah, and, and we know that the stones, like the, like the crystals, mm -hmm. play a big part in the mm -hmm. game, especially the ending. Yeah. So. My impression is overall, though, I mean, this is clearly a very different story from the games. I mean, we don't really see, we don't see either of the schools. We don't see Team Star. Um, yeah. So it's it's hard to say, but I mean, it looks very interesting so far. Yeah, and and this is, and, and it's the first time we have a story that it feels like was plotted out. Yeah. As opposed to just the broad like through line of I want to be a Pokemon master, and that was basically yeah, just a monster of the day type of deal. Every yeah. episode, like there, there was like minor development, but nothing that <laughs> stuck very long term. Yes, so very curious to see where this goes. I'm excited. I mm. will definitely give it a shot. I'll check it out. Yeah. Um, I like I like the logo. It, it's it's yes. It's got the crystals. It's got the two colors, scarlet and violet. Um, actually, not really. Violet. I was gonna. I was gonna say violet's like, there. The color violet is there, but it's like, more blue and red. That's what I was thinking. It's like they could have done like that gradient if they wanted to, but they didn't. So maybe that's their way of setting this apart from the games in a way. Yeah, it's reflective of Liko and Roy. It's reflective of the origins of Pokemon, red and blue. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm all in. I'm gonna check this out. What about you, Nikki? I'm very interested to see where, which direction it goes. And again, like now with a series without Ash, they can now kind of deviate from that formula, like you were saying. Yes, but we're definitely checking this out. If you like the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. And until next time, guys, stay versed.